What's good, everybody? My name is Paul the Fifth, and if you've been keeping up with me over the last couple weeks, you may have seen some videos where I've been showcasing the new M1 silicon chips on my Mac Mini, as well as my new M1 MacBook Pro. Today, I'm taking things back Old school. Old school. This is my late 2015 MacBook Pro. It is old, it's heavy, it's slow and loud. It only has eight gigs of memory and an i5 processor. The reason I'm showing you this is because this thing is a fail. In its prime six years ago, it was doing great, but now I wanted to show you how slowly and how terrible the performance on this is compared to the M1 silicon chips. In today's video, I'm running into some errors. I'll be using my digital thermometer to show you how hot this old machine gets. Let's go ahead and dive into today's content, but before we do that, here's my new intro. Let's go! go. go. Right, it is time for render test number four. Changing up devices again from the M1 to my old, old 2015 MacBook Pro with eight gigs of RAM and an i5 processor. I'm getting my toys out, the heat gun, and I've got my decibel meter here to show how hot and how loud this device is gonna get. I'm running out of devices for filming, currently being filmed on a webcam. I'm using my other iPhone to film down here. The video I'm showcasing today is called Snakes in the Studio. It's a recent video. It is 15 minutes and 55 seconds in length. I'll be following the same exact process as the first three videos. We'll be rendering it down to show how slow and how loud this device gets. Ready? Since I am running out of devices to capture the time frame I am gonna be using on my M1 MacBook Pro, the voice memos. Okay, we'll go up here and export file. The video Snakes in the Studio is 15 minutes and 55 seconds in length, 1080p on the resolution, quality best ProRes. Here we go. Next, Snakes in the Studio 55, saving to my documents. I am gonna go ahead and hit the record on the voice memos and save, and we will see how long, how hot, and how loud this old computer gets in three, two, one. Five seconds in, nothing on the render circle. This, in this race, it is not gonna catch up and it's not gonna win. I'm excited to show you just how old it is and how slow and how hot because this right here is gonna show you how incredible the M1 chips really are. 40 seconds in and we're just at about a 2% render rate. While we're waiting for this to render, let me know what kind of computer you may have. Do you have a computer? Do you have a MacBook, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air? Do you have an iPad? Don't forget, I am giving one away when I hit the 1000 subs. Do you have a PC? some kind of laptop there. What OS are you running? Let me know in those comments. A minute and 15 seconds in, we are just at about 4%. Not much change. There is definitely a noticeable heat difference from the M1 to the old computer. I can't wait to show you what this gun will do and the temperature differences in the readings. 
a minute and 40, we're just now at about 10%. Let's go ahead, set up the decibel meter. Starting to get a little loud. Two minutes in, do you hear it? Again, this is all real time. I'm not speeding up, I'm not slowing down. Thanks for bearing with me. But again, this is gonna show the power and the speed, the efficiency and the quietness of the M1 silicon chip. Two minutes and 30 seconds. We are just now at the three o'clock on that render circle. Hitting about 55 on the dB meter. Let's go ahead and break this out and see where we're at. Eighty-five degrees Fahrenheit on the old MacBook. Eighty-one on the M1. We are now three minutes and 50 seconds into this and we're just now at the five o'clock mark. It's warm, it's getting loud, and it's still slow. Four minutes and 10 seconds. It's just now hitting that 5 p.m. on the render circle. The M1 would probably be done by now. Do you hear that? Peeking out at 66 dB, four minutes, 40 seconds, still at the 5 p.m. Time for the heat test again. Ninety-eight degrees Fahrenheit. Good Lord. The M1. Eighty-six. About the same. Five minutes and twenty-five seconds in. Not even at fifty percent. It's hot. She's loud. She's slow. When I say I can't. I can't even, that's the truth. This M1 is the truth. Here's how I'm using my M1 series, using Logic, Pro Tools, iMovie. I'm getting ready to invest in Final Cut Pro. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be doing a video on the five things that I'm doing to step up my content creation game. Six minutes and 10 seconds, we are still not even at the 50%. Peeking out now at 74 on the dB meter. 96. 87. Okay. 650. Still not even at 50%. 67 on the dB meter. Seven minutes and 10 seconds, still not at 50%. This M1 would have been done by now. I'd be doing like 15 of the things at this point. <laughs> Seven and a half minutes, still not even at the 50%. If this at this point doesn't convince you on these M1s, well, the proof is in this video. All right, we are at eight minutes, just now hitting the 50% mark on this video, which is 15 minutes and 55 seconds. Peaking at 67 on the dB meter. 97. 87. 10 degree difference. Holy shnikes. I wonder what the Star Wars folks would say. They say M1 for show, baby. Yep. All right, almost at nine minutes. Just now hitting 50% right here on rendering this. Nine minutes and 20 seconds. This is over twice as long as the very first video that we rendered down on the Mac Mini. Now peaking at 70. 
Nine minutes, 45 seconds. Still stuck at 50%. I thank the folks at Apple for creating this M1 chip. I'm getting through the whole third party software plugin issues. I'm not tripping over that because I can take a song, I can take that 17 minute video and render it in, I think it was four and a half minutes. Right now we're at 1020 and we are stuck at the 50% mark. Hitting 71 on the DB meter. This is crazy y'all. If I was on the Millennium Falcon, I'd be like, pew, 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 blow this bitch up. This is not working. 10 minutes and 50 seconds stuck at 50% trying to render this down still. 73 on the DB meter now. 11 minutes and 15 seconds into this. 58%. Let's try this again. 95. 89. This is crazy. 12 minutes and 20 seconds. 71 on the DB meter. 95 degrees. This M1 would have had this video rendered three times over already. 70. Twelve fifty-five. Sixty percent. I'm gonna check my pulse. Am I still alive? Am I ten years older yet? Oh. Oh, the share failed. Look at that. Exporting snakes in the studio has failed. This can't even keep up. 13 and a half minutes of trying to render, it can't keep up. This is like the fifth test that I've tried to do. I just haven't put the other ones in here. This shows you right here, guys. These M1 series, they're not perfect. They have some issues. I've got some connection issues with Wi-Fi on the Mac Mini, but you know what? I can deal with that. When it comes to looking for your next computer, whether it be a laptop, a Mac mini possibly for a desktop, for me, this was a no brainer. Let's check this temp again. Still at 95. 88. Wow, so what did you think about that? Was it painful to watch? Well, it wasn't easy to film and endure, but I really wanted you to see how outdated this device is in order to really appreciate not only the power, but the strength, the quietness, and the speed of the new M1s. If you like today's content, check out some of my previous episodes Coming up soon, I've got something pretty cool where I'm not only showing you this. Again, I'll be doing some tests comparing the two devices together. I think you may find it rather interesting. If you have any questions for me on the specs of the models that I purchased, why I made those as a purchase, any questions for me at all, hit me up at LegacyStudiosNash at gmail.com. Find me on social media at Legacy Studios, Facebook, Instagram. Thank you. My name is Paul Fifth.